In the land of Kenya, the village of Kenya, heroes do not wear caps. Instead, it has its own versatile champions. Nurse Ida works with a team of four people who play different roles in ensuring Kenya is a community where every pregnancy is wanted, every childbirth is safe, and every young person's potential is fulfilled. Her team comprises of Chief Maso, community health worker Meryl, IT expert who popularly refers to himself as Lester and Teacher Zawadi. The team is gathered in their usual situation room where they get to discuss pertinent matters that affect Kenya. Maternal health took the center stage today. Did you know that Kenya records nearly 5,000 deaths from pregnancy and birth complications? This translates to about 14 mothers dying every day. This is sad, and most of these deaths are preventable. In Kenya, out of 100 pregnant women, only about 62 are attended by a skilled healthcare worker. We know that skilled care before, during, and after childbirth can save the lives of a woman and the newborns. It is therefore important to have more women access quality health services wherever they are. Those numbers are true, Lester. No woman should die while giving birth. It is our duty to end preventable maternal deaths. Nasida recalls how she once came to the aid of a pregnant woman who was in distress. It was a hot day and I was coming from work. Suddenly, I saw Bura the Buddha Buddha guy in the middle of the road waving at me to stop. Stop! Stop! <gasps> Nasida gets out of the car in alarm. Bura, what's the matter? There's a woman back here. She needs your help. Please, lead the way. He directs her by the roadside to the pregnant lady who is seen to be in a lot of pain. Nasida jumps to action. I can see you may be in pain. What is the problem? Look at me. Can you say your name? Sianto. Okay, Sianto. Hang in there. Bura and I will help you up slowly to take you to the car so that you can get to the hospital. Sawa. Sawa. Nasida and Bura get Sianto inside the car. She is rushed to the Kenya hospital. Once at the hospital, Sianto is taken to the emergency ward and attended to. They check her blood pressure and also perform an ultrasound to check if her baby is okay. Nurse Ida is glad they arrived in time to save her and the unborn baby. Later, Nurse Ida sat by the lady's bedside looking at her file and gets a shocking revelation. <gasps> That's when Sianto wakes up and grabs her belly in fear. It's okay, Sianto. You are fine. And the baby? Is she okay? She is fine too. Sianto, when was the last time you came for prenatal checkup? The doctor has discovered that you have high blood pressure and that's why you are in distress. Are the checkups really necessary? I came twice for the checkup, then I stopped. Sianto, you have a delicate condition and these checkups are important. You need to keep these five things in mind as reasons why you need to attend prenatal checkups. One is that you require at least four antenatal visits. Two, during the visits, you will be educated on nutrition during and post-pregnancy. Does that mean I need a special diet and isn't that expensive? No, Sianto. A pregnant woman's diet does not have to be expensive. You just need to eat nutritious food needed to keep both yourself and your unborn baby healthy. Three, you will be taught on how to maintain your hygiene during and after the pregnancy. Four, you will be advised on your birth plan. That is how the birth process will take place and who will attend to you. I had not thought of these things. That's why we are here for you, Sianto. Lastly, you will be trained on newborn care and family planning in terms of spacing baths. Sianto, these five things are very important to prevent you and your baby from any harm. Thank you, Nurse Ada. I may not remember everything you have said, but I promise to come for all my checkups required. I am happy to report that Sianto attended all her clinic appointments after that, and she gave birth safely to a healthy baby girl. The team claps as Nasida looks at them proudly. 